Hey folks, welcome back to Total War Rome 2. Now then, where we left off was the uh, this province rebelled against us. Nothing I can really do about it right now because of uh, just movement speed. Uh, it was after the Tartuna attack, and we're getting ready to make some pretty big strides into Ligurian territory, and the Insubris sued for peace. So we're all pretty good things. Um, I do want to say before we get too far into uh, this, make sure you all let me know whether you want to see the next campaign be Hannibal at the Gates or the Alexander campaign be at Rome 1 or whatever. I, I'm down for whatever. Uh, I probably, If we do Rome 1, I'll probably do the uh, new edition instead of the original because my computer doesn't handle it the best, being a newer computer and older game. But... I would love to play Rome Remastered, uh, or the, uh, mod for Rome 2, or I'm down to just go to Hannibal at the Gates. I'm looking forward to the Hannibal at the Gates campaign. So, just let me know what y'all want to see. Um, I don't feel bad for leaving out the Alexander campaign, because it's not the greatest campaign Total War has ever made. Um, but if y'all want to see it, just let me know. So, yeah. Um, I don't think there's really a lot for me to do here this turn. I think I pretty much did it all last time I played. We're recruiting some troops here. We're going to take Rotovium back next turn. And we can and we're planning on moving up to Ephradia and Berkelum. We're going to take Aguvium next turn, and we're going to either attack the Tartunans or the Etruscan Rebels next turn. So that's all good and well. So I think I'm just going to end the turn. Brennus has a skill. I am assuming this is Brennus up here. Yeah. That's right, because he took on two or three entire Insubraic armies by himself. Like an absolute mad lad. I will say, I've been listening to some medieval history books recently on Audible. I am craving to get to that just because uh, I miss I miss seeing those medieval knights and stuff uh, crossing the battlefield. It's in the turn. Okay, the Romans are trying to make some moves. The uh, Ligurians are going to try and push into our province. That's a weird choice. Era team are trying to either delay or bribe units or something. I don't really know. Oh, they they got wounded, so doesn't matter. Oh, there's an army there now. Okay. Enemy wounded. Sweet. Who got wounded? Okay, 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 okay. Wild hunt. Despite the cost, the hunt was successful. Okay, it got a pelt of a massive war. I don't... Don't know what that does for me, but whatever. Okay, let's just... Do this. Auto resolve. We'll sack it, raise it, and then I'll probably send this army north. Just go ahead and start the campaign up here. Go ahead and just move you. Oh, we'll go ahead and just go that way. You need three more units. I'm gonna move you to the border. Uh, and recruit something. Uh, let's recruit... Oh, recruit some more young swords. We're doing okay on income right now. And they are significantly better than the tribeless warriors and spears. Okay, this is gonna hurt because I figure... Okay. I'm not going to fight this. The auto-resolve is in my favor, but I don't think it would be if I actually fought it because those are some pretty good units. Those are Truscan City Guards are elite. Truscan Hoplites are elite. Cavalry is elite. Everything that they have in their unit is, or in their army is elite. So we're just going to auto-resolve this and let, let the AI take care of them. Sack it. Oh, there is nothing to sack. So I sacked it for nothing. Okay, let's raise. Anyways, we've got it now. Now the question is, can I do anything about this over here? I'm going to recruit a few units and mercenaries. Okay, that 
I may have been able to do it before, but now I definitely can. Quick auto resolve will take care of that. Sack it again. Then we'll raise it again. Warriors, oh. I don't guess again. This will be the first time we've raised it. I'm going to have a re rebellion here next turn. Hopefully it's an Iguvium instead of Sestinum. Speaking of Iguvium, let's go ahead and build a enclosed land and a well. And let's convert. And let's go ahead and delete these mercenaries so our uh, economy can get back on track. Perfect. Okay, um... That reminds me of Retovium. I need to do a similar thing. Let's do a well. And let's do a Artisan's Lodge. Or, actually... Let's do another Sacred Enclosure. We are going to need some public order boost here, I've got a feeling. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, so... Same thing with Veluzna. Veluzna. Let's convert it. And let's put a sacred enclosure. Sacred, en sacred enclosure. There we go. Now then, my goal is actually to take out the Aerotim and Tarchuna first and then move on to Rome. I'm hoping by that point I'll have taken care of the Ligurians. And then I can move into the Insubri territory. But as I said last time, and it proved true, none of my plans ever come to fruition, but sometimes it works out. So, um, we'll see what happens. So Perugia is obviously the next target, and then we'll start taking the, these border provinces down here. Once we get to Hadria, that would actually provide us a good route to do a two-front war on them. Um, I will probably need to recruit better units by the time I get down there. I do not want to be up going down that route with just a bunch of tribeless warriors. Speaking of which, I'm going to recruit some native Embryon Hillmen. Can bolster our numbers. Uh, okay. So let's check diplomacy. Era team, do you want peace? They do want peace. Today. Um, not aware with whom you are dealing. I can't do a vassalage with them, unfortunately. It doesn't look like I can. So I'll just demand... Uh, actually, I'm going to wait until I can get this province, and then I think it'd be better just to pursue Rome over here instead of trying to do the two-front war. At least for now. I'm kind of spread thin here. The Heralds of Nku. Minus 4% upkeep. Thank you. Okay, actually, I don't need peace with Rome. Or with Aerotim, but I might do peace you with Tarchuna. By coming here today. Perhaps you are not aware with whom you want to. I do peace with Tarchuna. That frees up this army to go south into Rome. Wow, they've got a pretty impressive bit of land there. Um, <laughs> I think I need to have peace with one person in this place. Just for the sake of a little peace of mind, because I don't, I'm not where I can defend these provinces up here. So all it is is one smart decision by the AI away from them uh, ruining my day. So we'll repair Velusna and Fafluna. No, that may have been a mistake. That may have been a mistake. Because of uh, the fact that they're probably pretty weakened after that battle. But I've, every time I've assumed that, it's bit me. So I'm not going to assume it this time. 
Now then, where are all of my armies? Are these, are these it? The Goovium. Yeah, okay, I've, I've got only two armies down there. That's right, because one of my armies got got whenever Volusna was taken. Because I said I didn't care about it, which is kind of true. Okay, um, in that case, since we're continuing our war on the Era team, I do want to continue, uh, not uh, the Tartunans, I do want to continue a campaign on the Eastern Front. So I'm going to recruit an army here, the Nones preferably, because of the fact that a Sinones leader tends to spread Sinones values. Let's do Noble Horsemen. Uh, I just realized I have three parties. No, only two parties. Okay. I do need to check that though, because I've it's been a while. Okay, oh, everyone's happy. Happy, happy, happy. Um, what I need to do is go ahead and put a meeting hall in here. And I'm going to start recruiting. This is going to be a pretty elite army. I say pretty elite. It's going to be tier 2 units instead of tier 1. Because I want to be able to take on the Romans. And I don't trust that I can do that with the current troops that I am fielding. So the goal is going to be keep moving against the era team. And hope that the so uh, actually can i see no and my agents got killed you want okay well that's just gonna have to do for now then uh can i assassinate this general can do a pretty good job at trying hey <laughs> Let's end the turn. The Ligurians want peace, but they want me to pay for it. Neither of those things are happening. Ilaria wants a trade agreement. I will gladly give them that. Rebellion and Cestinum. That is unfortunate. So... What I'm going to do Warriors all. is ignore that, because it'll take Sestinum next turn. There's not a thing I can do about it. But I can just go ahead and take Perugia, and that will get rid of the public order debuff from that. Because rebellions, I think, outweigh everything. Um... That is a pretty good era team army just sitting there. Well, that's a future me problem. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Ooh. I am losing a lot of money right now. I'm not, I'm not losing any money, technically. I'm just not gaining much either. Sack and raise this. Okay, I can sack it and get 1,700. And then I can raise it and get 1,000, right? Yeah. That helps out. Uh, you can now move north to Eperedia. Eperedia? Something, whatever it's called. Auto resolve this. There we go. Okay, that got us up to 10,000. I'm going to have to spend a lot of that on repairs and stuff. But I am fine with that. Now then, I will actually sue for peace. But I'm going to do it under a very strict condition. They want peace. My people, do not waste words. We are worth your better. Sweet, okay. They no longer exist as... Such Army, I do so knowing that it is necessary. Or as a, as a nation. Meaning I did not have to worry about actually taking their provinces. So that's all good and well. Cool. 
that help us uh, that helps us out a lot actually because hunting down armies is pretty disgusting so what I'm gonna do now um, I'm going to merge these two armies together I'm gonna have to wait till next turn to do that but I'm gonna merge those armies and we're gonna start moving against the Ensibris with these three armies this army is probably about to head back south to fight the Aratin. As for this army, let's recruit some young swords into it. I'm good at some Gallic Axemen, but I can't afford a whole lot. According to my little thing there, I can't afford any. Um, buh, buh, buh. Okay, let's end the turn. Oh, Sobios, Sobios, Subia, Souffle, whatever. And you want to spoil. Okay. Let's see how this all works out. Our Chunans are moving in our territory. That I guess that's okay for now. Okay, but whatever they're doing there isn't. Prince of Reeves want trade agreement. Okay. The Ensibris are trading are you brave with us. Or foolish? Or just mad? Well speak. I will listen. They do not want to join a confederation. Okay. That is fine. I am still going to move this army south. And I'm actually going to just disband these armies. This army north to Oskella, in case the Ensibris, and in, in same case, but they're inevitably going to get some funny ideas about what they can do. Sacred enclosure, sacred enclosure, well, arms, repair, repair. Okay. So. Thirsty for battle. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move back to Aguvium because however badly I want to take Perugia, I need to protect this province. Velusna, Velusna, I don't want to, I'm, I'm butchering these pronunciations, is doing okay right now. So I'm actually going to try and assist uh, this army. Or the city to keep them from surrendering. And maybe try and move into Eritrean provinces over here. I'm just kind of poking and prodding to see where I push where there's mush, so to speak. Let's get some tribeless slingers in there. Okay, um, let's put you in forced march mode and move you down to Fafluna. And we might be able to take Perugia with this army in the turn. No peace. Whoa, I know what you're trying to do there. They were trying to get me to sue for, or to accept peace in order to attack that city. Trade agreement dissolved with the Umbri. Okay. Now you done it. Can't attack with that army just this turn, but what I can do is I'm going to do this. Take Perugia. Is it worth it, it is worth sacking. And then let's raise it. Okay, we can't raise it. Let's go ahead and attack with this army. Don't know why you bothered fortifying. It's 
auto resolve this. That gets rid of that army. Let's release the captives. Um, and let's move you north to protect Sestinum. Not worth much, but it's worth something. Uh, let's get a couple cavalry units. We can't afford too many. Well, I say that I'm going to fill a couple more with axes. Actually, just fill the rest with axes. And we'll start moving against the arrow team that direction next turn. Um, ba ba ba. Brennus, keep on moving. If I force march you, you're not going to get there in enough time, are you? But I can force march you and get you there in a semi. in two turns instead of one or three. Okay. Um. We're back in the green, an economy. We are rebuilding our settlements. All of this is going well, surprisingly. Is that you? No, is that you? Yeah. Uh, let's do a bard. Okay, so it looks like the Umbrians are about to no longer exist. Okay, Aero Team, y'all are annoying. They're going to attack. I, there's nothing I can do. That's that's a pretty decent army. I'm just going to let them take it. Move you up to the Skella. There's not really a better place to be. I say that there is a better place to be. There's, I need to go to Rotovium. <laughs> that was a mistake. All of this is mistakes. I'm making so many mistakes. Whatever. Okay. Here is what I'm going to do. Attack. Night attack. Auto resolve. Release captives. Ready for orders. Auto resolve. Aggressive stance. Sack it. Ready for battle. For Raise it. Life. Get all that money. Okay. A goobium. This army here. Why am I facing south? Why would you why would you do that to me? That's gross. There we go. Okay, we can take this back this turn. I'm just gonna do it. No point in punishing my own citizens, so let's just raise it. I'm gonna have another rebellion this turn, but that's fine. Uh, farmstead and convert that okay um let's go ahead and have you start moving to firmum sweet brennus keep on moving south did you get did i already click do that i don't know what happened um Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Veluzna is on the brink of rebellion. People won't give me a moment to have rest. I've actually been... Ro oh, so, I'm saying this as the person who owns 90% of the map right now, so I understand the irony... A little bit, but I've actually tried to be relatively peaceful this campaign. 
but I can't just catch a break to stop campaigning because everyone does not like me. So, it be what it be. Um, maybe the Sumbrian army can actually do it. You know, I, I think they actually stand a chance. So, we're gonna cheer them on from a distance. And we are going to end this turn. <laughs> okay, so the Romans apparently thought they could do it too. No, I'm not joining the war against Tarchuna in this situation I'm in. Rebell rebellion, rebellion, rebellion. I understand this. Hey, where's this rebellion? This is right here. Let's go ahead and take it out. Starting out. Let's go ahead and take it out. Let's auto-resolve this. That's got rid of them. Okay, this is now magically down to minus two because there's no more rebels leaving. That's fine, honestly. If I can keep it at minus two, that would be amazing. Let's get some native Umbrian spears in this army. Or actually, we have not a single unit of slingers. So let's get one unit of slingers. Attack, farm them. Auto resolve. Balance stance. Sack it. 2,000 uh, coins. I'll take it. Raise it. Rebuild it. Okay, uh, Perugia is rebuilding, so I'm actually going to just kind of let this stall out a little bit. Um, I'm going to let this army move south and help out before I try and attack Spalladium. Yeah. Um, this army needs to move back. I made a mistake by taking it out. Okay, let's get you all the way down to Fafluna. Once I get down to Fafluna, I'm going to station this army here to kind of scare that Tarchunan army back. But we've got Perugia now, and we've beaten off the rebels in the short term. Um, so that is all well and good. And we'll actually have a pretty big public order buff next turn from two sacred enclosures being built. Let's end the turn. Oh, Rudos. Rudolph? Where's Rudolph? My man, Rudolph! There you go. So, I'm going to do my typical tactic of not waiting at all and just letting them rebel. I'm going to take Osculum. Um, and I'm actually going to hold there for a bit because that will have them cut off from the sea. It's going to be a semi-vulnerable position after I take it because of uh, the Romans and the Era team on both sides. And I'm going to try and rebuild it a little bit at least so that the Romans can't just sweep up north and take it. And then we'll move uh, on these settlements here. And that should take care of the air team. Let's end the turn. Etruria may okay, be the they closest. are... <laughs> okay, I'm not surprised. In fact, I kind of just left Valuz not to die. And I knew what I was doing a little bit. Um... It's, it's right in the middle of enemy territory. It's hard to keep up. So I'm going to just let them take it. Now then that up there is a problem. The Era team want a peace treaty. 
part of me wants to give it to him because I really could use this army over here. Fine, they're offering money instead of... Actually, no. I'm going to refuse. And I'm going to take Osculum. And then I'm going to Super Beast. That would be the ideal way to do this, I think. Even if I don't get their money. I, that gives me a border with Rome where I can continue my attacks there. Okay, now... Era team. Peace. You much by coming here today. Man payment. Perhaps you are not aware with whom you are dealing. I don't want 2,500. What about 2,000? Okay, I'll do 1,500. We can do 1,500. There you go. We're at peace now, meaning I can move this army up here. And I can move this army down south into that Luna. Let's begin rebuilding Asculum. Osculum, whatever it's called. We want an industry here because their industry in the cities are actually pretty lucrative. Whereas in the towns, they're just as lucrative as everything else. Um, let's do a culture center. Let's do a sacred enclosure and let's convert it to settlement type. Yeah, there will be a rebellion next turn. That's fine. It's just two provinces. Um... Era team, let's upgrade you. Uh, I don't know that it's going to matter a whole lot. Um, let's do some research. I need something that gives me more money. Let's get 10% well, wealth from industry. Let's move you over here. That's what I need to do. And that will prevent them from heading up to Era team. They may still take Clevson or... Actually, this relegates them to Sienna. And that's within striking distance pretty well. So that'll work out. Um, cool. Brennus is about ready for the attack. Once we take that Luna, we can actually head down to Tarchuna and kind of corner them. All right. Um... Let's end the turn. Rudolph's... Oh yeah, you leveled up, didn't you, buddy? My man, Rudolph! He is making gains. Yeah, they're taking. They're attacking Sienna. I, there's nothing I can do to stop that. So we'll just let them have it. Treasure. Rebellion and Osculum. Yep. Yeah. Edict canceled Tuskia. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, uh, that is a problem though because of that party. So, what I'm gonna do. Okay, that is just out of reach. We're going to move these two armies in. We can reinstate that next turn, hopefully. Let's go ahead and just sack and raise this. Uh, garrison army, masters of the seas. If I night attack, that does nothing for me because apparently the... I'm guessing... That's weird. Well, regardless, we can just do this. That gets rid of them. Sack it. And that, get, that just was enough to justify buying mercenaries whenever we inevitably lose some units from the second time around. Oh, we did not. But we're going to because I'm going to merge these. Yeah. Uh, let's get some Etruscan axes. And just keep it at that. 
Actually, let's get one Yudo Hot Bites. That's going to put us a little bit in the red, but that'll be fine. Um, ba ba ba. Osculon. Take care of them. Do not need the Pakentes coming back. Let's auto resolve that battle. Release captives. Move back into Osculum. Okay, we can take this next turn other than threat is that they just take Philothry. We start trading provinces, but I'm just going to have to run with it. Let's put a one of those in there. Oh well. And let's just worry about converting the settlement for now. The port can be can, is okay with the way it is. Okay. Um, and yeah, let's just hold off on any more offensive engagements right now. We're getting some cultural conversion going on. Is there any research that provides me with more public order? Yeah, honoring, honoring the waters. It's probably where I need to look next. Maybe songs of the because it could provide songs to the companion in life because it provides cultural conversion but we'll just have to see um this is going to convert a lot in the next turn which is going to help and then that's going to give some public order buffs i'm just going to have to wait to recruit any i'm just going to leave the edict because i need that edict for uh tuskia Tartunans want peace. Like no. It probably means, yeah, they're taking... But I'm just gonna have to hunt them down. There's not another option here. What I will do is I'll send one army to chase them, and if they go north, I can send the other army to uh kind of catch them i am surrendering you to carthage fafluna okay where is fafluna fafluna uh well that doesn't help me okay, let's have you conquer sienna auto resolve Raise it to the ground because it's not their fault that they got caught. Um, they can take Pisa next turn. But they can also take Fafluna. That's where Fafluna is. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Um, nothing I'm going to do about that rebellion. Uh, ba 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 ba. Osculum is kind of building up. What I should do is disband this unit. Start recruiting cheaper units. Because there's no point in having that expensive unit in there. Okay, and then... We will go ahead and rebuild here. Can't rebuild that because it costs too much. So let's just end the turn, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just going to have to leave this army here for, every, for several more turns. Still, until stuff cools off. I can do an edict, can I? But Tuskia is still not an option, so never mind. No Tartuna. 
Okay, that is what I wanted. Let's auto resolve this. They're gonna take the Fluna. That is great. That actually solves a little bit of a problem on my hands. And we'll just take Flaw 3 in the, the corner. Just take out that. Actually, let's leave that rebellion in place for now. Um, let's take Flothry, raise it. Ready for battle. Uh, let's do a Warrior's Lodge and convert it. Let's convert Tuskia and let's put the Party Loyalty effect back. And we'll just stay there this turn. And that'll work out nice. Okay, um... Yeah, it's all coming together. Now the Insubreeze are looking at my land, and they are wanting it. I kinda sorta hope they attack, because that gives me another order to uh, begin attacking, and I kinda need the income. But this will convert in a few turns. That party loyalty should have us back up to normal. Yeah, Imperium level, but the political actions, and then that'll be replaced next turn by party loyalty. So that'll, that'll all work out. Uh, yeah, okay. I was just checking Xenophile was the other problem. Let's go ahead and disband this unit. And let's begin filling the rest of these ranks. And that'll give us a sizable force to take Fafluna back with. And let's end the turn. Okay, Tarchuna. The simple fact is that Tarchuna is going to lose. They are just dragging it out really well. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attack with this army, and I know that that kind of that hurts me, but what I need I need this army taken care of so I don't have to worry about a rebellion taking over my provinces while I'm gone. Move you from Siena over to Clevson. Keep them from taking that. They'll probably try and move for Perugia. I'm not sure though. This army can probably take them on over here. And we'll try and take on Fafluna. Why are you still losing? Public order. This is ridiculous. I can't really afford to do anything about it right now, unfortunately. Well, that's the film in Force March mode. They shouldn't be able to take it outside of Force March mode. Cool. Valo? Is that you? Yeah. Let's get Fearless Warrior, why not? Ooh. 
It is Laren's will that we... Okay, they're taking Perugia. Interesting twist of or change of events. That's fine. I am back. Sorry about that. I had to take a call. You're gonna take Perugia. All right. Rebellion imminent. That's all fine and dandy. I'm going to attack the Puna. Let's just auto-resolve this. Why? Oh, I hit spacebar, didn't I? Sack. Wow, okay, spacebar is janky in clone 2. Let's get rid of the spacebar thing. There we go. Another game that I never uh, play without spacebar, but this one is super janky. Okay, now we can sue for peace with Tartuna. You presume much by coming here today. Demand payments. Perhaps you are not aware with whom you are dealing. Sweet. They were willing to do that. Which means that now... To serve the people of Gaul. I can move this army to Perugia. I can move this army... Nowhere. Why? What's with the public order? Character. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. Yeah, smart. The AI is smart for that because they are just tying up my armies, which is what they need to be doing, but it's aggravating nonetheless. Um, let's move this army, let's put it back in Force March mode and then move it back up to Perugia. The Fluna, let's do a Artisan's Lodging. Sacred Enclosure. Convert. 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 And that will have these two provinces in workable order. The Insubris are kind of poking and prodding looking for weak spots. Um, they are just bound and determined to try and break that treaty. Okay, we are in a pretty good spot, though, so let's go ahead and end the turn. The Golden Torx. Let's get rid of some of that uh, upkeep. Rebellion and Infernal. Okay. Well, that, that's gonna have to take a back seat because I need to focus on this war down here. Okay, what I need to do, encircle. Let's see what mercenaries are nearby. Okay. So disband three tribeless warriors and replace them with the Umbrian defenders. Suddenly, I win this battle. Auto resolve. Let's sack it. Raise it. Make it ours. well in here. Let's get rid of those Umbrian defenders before they cripple our economy. Let's keep moving you north to Perugia. Because you're going to have to be our offensive army now. Uh, okay, Tartuna is starting to stabilize a little. So that's good. Bermum. You have a rebellion. Fine. Yeah. 
Gulls love the open road. Leave. Let's get rid of them. Auto resolve. Release. Let's move back to Osculum. Okay. So, think what we can do. So they're going to try either to attack Aguvium, which I don't think they'd actually win. Unless they've got a pretty good army there. They might. Um, but assuming they don't, we can move into Spiletium. Even assuming they do, we can move into Spiletium. And kind of split them in pieces. So let's end the turn. Oh, I keep forgetting about all these traditions and stuff. Uh, the men here, men. Yeah, that decreases our upkeep greatly because that's our most expensive army. Let's do the same thing here. It's not as going to be nearly as much. And let's put despoil again. Okay, let's end the turn. Okay, so they are going to try and take it, and I think they're going to succeed, so I'm not even going to bother with this fight. Uh, let's just auto resolve it. They're going to take Aguvium. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but I should be able to take their capital this turn, which is... Oh! Aguvium is now in friendly hands. Trade agreement. As requested, I give ear to your just military and alliance. Undoubtedly noble demand requests. payments. Okay, let's just stick to thirty five hundred. That's a good amount. So we've got a military alliance now. And they have helped us out greatly with that. Let's see if there's any army in this Palladium, and there's not. Meaning we can just march on in. Sack it. Ooh, that's nice. 4,000. Raise it. Okay. Convert it. Uh, let's build a communal grounds here. Okay. And now, let's move into Osculum. They're going to rebel again in two turns. Unless I destroy the air team, and that's just not going to happen. But my next target is going to be Nursia. And then move down to Rate. But for now, I need to just kind of hold on to this. Let's do something that gives us public order. So let's do, uh, hold on. I said I was going to do honoring the waters, but what about this? It takes only two turns less. So let's just do honoring the waters. Gives us a passive in, uh, public order bonus. So that'll help out a lot. The, this is finally converted to Celtic buildings. Let's force march you into Vat Luna because you are the only thing holding this public order together. Okay. Feeling good about this. Hmm. What I could do, this is what I should do actually, um, I think I can take Narcia next turn with this army. I should take it and take Rate, completely getting rid of the Era team, and just deal with the rebellions that come from that. I think that's the best move here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's get extra income from looting. Let's end the turn. 
Artunans are going to stay friendly this turn. Air team, obviously, are not. Uh, allow him to conduct business. Subversion. Okay, whatever. It won't matter. We're just gonna do this. And then how much... Not gonna provide me a whole lot, but I think... I can still do the whole sacking method of things. Sack. There we go. Yeah, I was right. Raise. Hey, we are the strongest army or force of the Italy. And let's take right. Auto resolve, aggressive stance. Raise. And that should yeah, that's got him that's got him beat. We're just gonna have to deal with this invasion, which won't be a big deal, it's only Seven units against our eleven. Um, I'll just need to make sure this army can get back next turn. Let's go ahead and start the conversion ASAP because this is going to be a rebellion hotbed. Um, well, let's do. We're just we're gonna max out on the public order stuff here because I'm not going to be able to keep armies here as much as I would like to. Let's move you out of horse march mode. And that should pretty much have us. I mean, the Romans can't attack us from uh, they into Spalladium without going into Tartunan territory, which is a possibility, but then I would still have a turn to see them coming. Nursia is going to rebel next turn, but uh, Pykinum is going to rebel this turn, and uh, that's all assuming that the era team don't try and attack, which I figure they will, and they're going to lose. In fact, I'll probably just end the turn and end the episode after that turn. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and that should be a, that should have us in a good spot. The men here, men. Let's get income from raising, looting. And let's. Uh, oh, I've got, I've got. Things now, entirely controlled provinces. That's great. Uh, okay, Tuskia don't need that. Okay, um, let's get tribute collection, and I've got all my edicts. Sweet. Let's end the turn. Do you need help in this matter? Uh, I am refusing. I do not need Carthaginian influence into my lands. Rebellion and Afluna. They did not. They decided not to attack for some reason. Um, that's fine. I will defend Osculum and Thermum. And that will have us, I think. Um, losing a little bit of money, but the era team are basically destroyed. The, the Ligurians are completely gone. Um, we're in a good position to take on the Tarchunans if they decide to try again, which they almost certainly will. I can move you down into Spalletium because, again, they almost certainly will try again. And that'll give us a two-prong attack. As a matter of fact, why don't I just take advantage of this? Uh, I do need to try and calm things down. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Always taxes causing problems. But, so that is going to end us, and that is. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed. I know I have. We've managed to completely take out the Ligurians and the uh, Era team. And now all that's left is to march on Rome. So, um, we'll start that whole 
thing next time. Um, make sure you do what the cool kids do nowadays, like, subscribe, and do all that, and I will see y'all next time.